disassemble these machines, the key thing is remove the rear panel, remove this locking bracket here that blocks you from being able to pull the unit back, remove this screw and this screw, which are the ones that hold the lid in place. The easiest way to do it is to push from the back first till it goes to its first position. You're gonna put your fingers under the lid, your thumbs go up till it stops you, and while holding it up, push back, and the machine will pop off. If the machine's been opened before, it'll be firm to open. To get around that, pull back, wiggle as you're pulling up, then go in, wiggle, and it'll come out. The wiggling motion is if these are too bent full out. When you're done with the job, make sure they're straight. If they're starting to bend out, you need to straighten them out. If not, it'll damage the finish here. No tool needs to enter the front of the machine, and you have to make sure that the machine fits under this lip. When it's time to reassemble, place it softly, wiggle back and forth, and the lip of the machine will be sitting on top of this tang. You pull back so it falls, and push back with two fingers. One detail to keep key. When you're working on these units, you always have to make sure that this is facing up with a slight tilt back. This tooth grabs on the other side of the lid, if we bring the lid down, grabs on right here. Hold on, so I'm gonna go a little lower. The lip grabs on right here. If you go too far back, the lip, tilt it up, will actually bite onto this crest, which will prohibit you from bringing it all the way up. So when you want to close it or open it, you let it fall on its own weight and the unit will locate. If we come over here, bring it down, you'll see that that tooth wants to go in and if we come all the way down, you're going to have to unhook the phone for this one to be able to look all the way up in there. Hold on. You can actually see hold on, hold on. Okay, go ahead. it's in the wrong position. Right now it's on the long side so it won't let it go in. So what do we got That's do? what stops you. So what you got to do is get the front end first, then move it back, then move it back to the final position. So then move it forward, then I'm sorry, back. forward and back, yes. Just do that one more time? So if we unhook, I'm going to put it in correctly. Oh. There it's not in the right spot. I'm going to wiggle it till it falls in the spot. Once I'm there and I can't see the back tooth, you go forward, back. Okay, what about... When they're opening if it, you what tilt is it, that's it, holding it too down? much, when it's locked, this tooth will bend and stop you from going up. If you can go more than an inch, you've gone too far. The whole lid has to come off before this increases. The easiest way to prevent yourself from damaging it by accident, which happens to everybody, is to over here, not remove this zip hold until you have the lid removed. Once the lid's removed, take it off. What this is doing is restricting you from going too far. Once you're able to beat that, you've bent that bracket that's over there and can no longer open it.